Hey everybody, hey y'all. I'm always talking about hey y'all, who I'm talking to. Whoever watched this video, hey. I should have brought in a uh, so something is pulling at my energy to talk about relationships. Like my I guess experience with relationships or whatever. And like, I'm not really sure what that means, like what I'm supposed to be talking about or necessarily why. So I'm not sure like how this is going to go. So I'm going to just do me and um, I guess just start talking and then, you know, I know at some point. The conversation will be guided however it needs to, to go. Because they want me to talk about, like, my um, <laughs> intimate relationships. Like, it seems like there's, like, a, a audience that's, like, really interested in, like, how I maneuver my personal relationships. And... Like, I hold things close to my chest, and I only really talk to my closest people, for real. Um, but I haven't really talked to, been talking to anybody. And my closest people, that was my closest people, like, I haven't. Um, yeah, so. Um, I'm not sure. It feels weird to talk about, like, I talk about my experiences and, well, not even that. I mean, damn, do I talk? I be talking about stuff, but I guess it, I mm. guess I ain't as open as, um, I think, but I, but I am. I'm putting out some of my crystals. So somebody asked me about crystals the other day. I feel like, or I had a conversation to, with somebody about my crystals and like, um, it's interesting because I haven't really been talking to nobody. So I'm like, when did that happen? It might not have been the other day. Time for me is, is just what it is. But I just downloaded like uh, some type of crystal identifier app because when I go get my crystals, I do, I like allow my, my spirit, my intuition, my soul to guide me toward what crystals that I need. And then, well, this is taking a turn a little bit. Um, and then I just go like that. And then I am, I am very interested. Like I'll read the descriptions. Like I have, um, a particular shop that I really like going to, um, I don't be wanting to mention stuff because then the energy be getting different and stuff. But like, trying not to be selfish. Uh, but um, so I go to Passport to Peru. It's like um, on Coventry. I live in Cleveland, Ohio. Hey y'all. So like right now, anyway. Um, so that's where I go to get my crystals. And then like they have like their crystals out, and then they'll have a sheet underneath them, and it'll tell you like what the crystal is and what the properties are and you know what to use it for and i'll read it and i'll take pictures and all of that and very rarely do i go back to consult the pictures i just kind of like um i just kind of like wear them and i charge them like they're always charging i always have them like in the um window or whatever they're charged with the sun or the moon like the air, the elements the air and then i'll do like my moon water i keep moon water in the in the um in the window for the same reasons like you know to be charged um so when it comes time to me wearing my crystals i just move i just go by what's what i feel right so and then I make my own jewelry out of them. Like I buy a lot of them, and then the ones that can't fit in the cages, like I play around with them and do that. But like, so I have this, and I like I said, I, I don't ever remember what they are. So if you know, you can tell me. But so this would be crystal one, crystal A. 
A. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is just the quartz, uh, clear quartz, but it looks like it has a tint to it, but clear quartz. And I love this one. It's so beautiful, but I don't remember um, what it's called, but I don't even know if you can see all of the... I have a lot more. These are just the ones that I grabbed to put on the table um, while I'm talking because I was going to go outside because I love being out in the sun when I do my videos. Well, I just like being out in the sun, period. But here I go. And then, like, I have this one and I can't remember what this one is called. Um, I usually don't be letting people touch my crystals, but I will cleanse them. Like, somebody come in my house and touch them. I will uh, sage them or whatever afterwards. And then, uh, so these are like the polished crystals. And then I have like the, the raw, I guess they call them. So, and I actually, now that I'm touching this, I think I want to put it, I need some more, um, cages. Um, yeah. And then I have this pink quartz. I think this is a quartz too. So that's the ones that I have here on my table with me. Oh no, I have, um, ooh, what was this? This is one of the last ones that I bought and I found it at a metaphysical store out in, was I in North Olmstead? Maybe, no, I don't know. Cause my client was in, um, Columbia Station and like there's like different a couple different smaller cities like out there and um, she went to lunch one day with somebody and then um, she allowed me to take her car to um, go to the metaphysical store because I wanted to get some some crystals and some some um, some sage and I wanted to also try to find like some other because I tried to stop using sage as much because um the sage trees were becoming extinct and like that's one thing that i hate especially for like european countries and like western countries like we find out about something and then the sacredness comes out of it everything just has to be like mass produced and we just fuck up everything for real like so um but i did i did read that the sage trees like year, a couple years ago were becoming um extinct because we were um pretty much pillaging them right so i started like looking at some of the other things um and then like i know i received a, a sage box and it also had like palo santos as a gift so i did i will use that um and um i did buy like well this bag it had like a bunch of small like palo santos like chips or whatever but i like palo santos um i had got some dragon's blood uh i got some i just be getting different stuff like i'll go through i'll read everything and like i said depending on what's left for me i get it so oh shoot maybe i should because y'all know i'm not gonna like well i started off talking about relationships i said i was gonna talk about relationships started talking about crystals and stuff so maybe i'll do that i'll start the new video i don't be knowing um and then like when i go to like on my vacations or whatever if i am guided like i think i i got this in this might be south africa like i had got like um a little bit of sand um and some shells and um like when i had my altar so i, I guess this is a relationship video, but like more of like my relationship on my spiritual stuff. And then I guess if I do my intimate relationships, I'll I'll just start a new video. Uh, but um, so I did do an altar at one point, and then I have like my my white candles that I'll burn. Um, so I have like a I have candles, but then like when I was reading about like the um the toxicity of some of the candles so I, I really read the ingredient I, i'm an ingredient i'm a label reader like i'm going to read the ingredients on anything because i feel like if you're not trying to hide shit it should be transparent right i should be able to know what it is and like in the united states like 
our FDA, USDA, like all that shit is out for the highest bidder. So, always hot and some shit, right? And authentic as hell. And yeah, I don't trust them. I don't, I don't trust none of them alphabet boys. I don't trust our government. I don't fucking trust, like, why, why would I? Um, but I'm eating grapefruit. I, I have a candle warmer because it allows my candles to burn longer. And I just like, um, it, it allows my candles to last longer. And I just like how it, how it, uh, smells. But then I also like when I burn them sometimes, which is why I read the ingredients to see what it is. So I'll do my candles. Um, and I also noticed that like, I like to do like my, um, my incense a lot. Like I had some frankincense and myrrh, um, at one point. I had some frankincense, I had some myrrh. Um, I just, I just, it just depends. Like it just depends on when I go to the, to the store, um, one of the metaphysical stores. Like I said, I have my trusted stores and like whatever I'm guided to get. And then like I, me, I'll stay in the aisle for like however long. Cause I don't technically like shopping for real. Like you won't really find me like shopping for that's not a passion for mine of mine however when i am in search of something or when i i am doing something like when i'm looking for at my crystals like when i'm in the crystal store or whatever like i probably can stay in the store for a while because i'm gonna read everything i'm gonna kind of move with my energy i'm gonna i might ask questions like it's just the different it's like that's that's a sacred moment for me that's special right um when i am looking for candles like i'm going to pick them up. I'm going to smell them. I'm going to turn it over, read the label, see what it is, try to figure out if I like it. Um, same with like perfumes and stuff. Like I don't really wear a lot, a lot of perfumes and, and, and things like that. Like, um, when I went out the country, I actually bought a perfume that I really liked the smell. And once again, I was like looking at the label and trying to figure out like what was in it and things like that and I have like a oil that I'll use I will use oils more um like let me see So oftentimes I'm I'm more interested in like using using oils. So like um this is basic instinct from pure romance. It's a uh pheromone. So it's supposed to uh for your um it brings out your your smells. And I and I, I love me, so there's that. Um and then this one is what is this scent? I've had it for so long because I don't I don't put on a lot of smells often. Ooh, that smells so good. Just put that on. Put that on now. Damn, why don't I use that? See, I I will dab every once in a while. And then I got this one. I was in um, Morocco. And so, yeah, that was... Morocco was 2022, right? So we see how much I still have left. Um, so I don't buy a lot of uh, stuff because I don't use it often a lot. And what I like, I like. And I, that's kind of like what I stick to. Um, and then when it comes to my actual like um because i'm i'm real funny because our skin like your skin is the biggest organ on your body right like and so and it everything goes in, straight into your body from your skin like whatever you apply on your skin you're, it's going to go straight into your bloodstream and all of that like no no i don't play about my body um because it's mine like i like i've said a lot of times my grandfather um was 102 when he died and he was like uh maybe a couple 
couple weeks away from being turning 103. And I loved him. Like, I loved my granddad. And I, we used to talk and I would listen to him. And, um, you know, one thing that always stuck with me was just because he loved cooking. I enjoy cooking. He enjoyed baking. I enjoy baking. Um, I used to listen to him, like, especially when, like, the, the, uh, what was that, 2008 elections was going on with, like, uh, Obama. I was like, I would listen to him because for him, it was like such a big deal to have this black man in office and all of that. And then I was, I appreciated that from, from his perspective and his journey. Cause my granddad had his own journey. He's been through a lot of, a lot of life. Right. And then like, also from my perspective at that time, like I was shifting, things were shifting for me, just like on the big scale of like, just the wide scale of just like life and this country and things like that. And I just was like, for me, I definitely was like, well, at first, I really was just like, oh, because he black. Like, I'm voting for him because he black. That's just what it is, like, at the end of the day. And then I, I listened to a couple things, like he was saying, and then I went out and was, like, um, canvassing. And so I was, like, changing my mind a little more as far as, like, why I was voting for him. But at the end of the day, like... He black. They need some color up in here, right? So whatever. Cause at the end of the day, like it's still a system. Like he's he's still it's still a job. Like <laughs> it's still a job. He still got some he got some people to answer to and this country is still gonna do what it do. So he's still only gonna be able to do what he can do. And yeah, so anyway, so my granddad, um he was like awesome to me. And well, one thing I noticed, like, I remember having that moment where I was like, we never know how long we'll be in this plane of existence in these bodies. And I do not want to be like trapped in my body from something that I could have prevented, right? Like, if this is the body that I'm going to get, I don't know how long that I am going to be gifted to have this life be on this plane of existence. So I want to make sure that like, I'm able to fucking enjoy my life as long as possible without no issues. So I was already like doing really well, like on my diet and I was already on the journey. It just, it just maybe accelerated or like really, really solidified it for me. Um, so yeah, that's that. So I'm, I'm a label reader. Um, I've done like, I, I, back in the day I did like research or I was like reading things about, uh, we'll research about uh, the the at that time one of the most prevalent ingredients and in, the the most prevalent ingredients in our foods that they were just putting at us and things that they did and, and then I was just having like this whole thing like food is grown how it's grown and then we just they take it and then they manufacture it and they change it and they do all this stuff to it and then it's like here like why did you have to bleach my flower? Like, nigga, if the flower is brown, it's brown. Like, we didn't. And then I remember having that conversation with somebody, and it was like, well, because, you know, it's more appealing to the eye. To who? Like, only now, because you used to get in it. Like, but if they would have left it in its original state, and maybe it does something different, but, like, no. So that's kind of, like, how um, I look at stuff. <laughs> and... So, yeah, I'm, like, real particular what I put in my body and what I put on my body. And I'm not, like, I mean, I am a saint. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm me, right? Like, I think I'm awesome. Well, it ain't no thing. I'm awesome. But, um, so when people, and I don't really do titles and labels about a bunch of stuff. Like, stuff is what it is until it isn't. Or anything and I and in and, and my journey of life I've seen that like people use labels and titles like ugh, whatever like the ones that's like so uh, about that shit is because like that's your identity and like I don't want to fuck with you because like I don't know I don't know whatever like people can do what they want I'm just not with it so and then but that's a whole other conversation. Um, I'm not. I'm not with it. Like, yes, you are. You may be a doctor, okay, and you are still also 
oh yeah i need to do that um you still your name like you still who you are and like most people their title it, it just uh, i seen it way too often and i was like yeah no and then they kind of it's like a i'm better than you some for some of them like an arrogance like a just the whole thing like okay you ain't have no respect or maybe you need to have an idea like you ain't have no respect from nobody and so like you using this to to up yourself or to make it or to make somebody feel worse or to make yourself put your like yeah so like but that was a long time ago like it's just who i am now just part of my essence of who i am like titles aren't a big thing um like they might identify but like they're not the the it's not the goal like marriage can be a goal but marriage in itself is just a contract of bringing together right an understanding an agreement um and the way that contract looks and manifests and the ceremonies and things and the cultures around how you solidify that contract or what that contract looks like or how you celebrate that contract or whatever is different for everybody and i just hate that especially in this country we think we so fucking so everybody think they fucking so superior like they way is better than everybody else's way or like if it's not done this way that i was taught this way then that shit just ain't important or it don't matter like i hate that i hate that like ugh, that ugh. and it's the same thing as like titles like it's just so disgusting to me and so disrespectful and so minimizing and just Ugh, like so you want to tell this person that their family life that what they built isn't isn't su isn't superior or isn't isn't anything isn't worth anything because like it they didn't do this how you think they should have because it doesn't look like this bitch like that's how that should be making me feel like no who the fuck are you like who are you Yo, who are you? What the fuck does your stuff look like, right? Like, nah. So it just be a lot of that for me. I mean, not now, but it, I mean, I still get irritated when I see the, see it. That's why I keep that shit out of my frequency because I don't need that energy. Like, mm, if that's how you think, that's how you think. But like, you take a good look at your shit and you tell me. Never mind. Don't tell me shit. It's your shit. I hate having dirty hands. Okay. So, I was talking about ingredients and labels and things like that. So, I am a label reader. Um, yeah. And people are always asking me, like, well, what what is your diet? Like, are you vegan? Are you... Just that, and I'm like, well, technically, I don't have a title, but I guess if you need something to wrap your mind around it, I guess I would be considered pescatarian at this time. But like, essentially, my diet, well, at this moment, is predominantly probably like about 99% plant based, like fresh produce and things like that. Um, but on an average, like, I do try to keep my diet about. 95% plant-based um fresh pro like I don't buy canned stuff I don't I rarely buy canned goods I rarely buy um frozen goods unless it's like you know ice cream sorbet things like that like um pack pre-packaged goods like for some stuff but I do stuff because I love I love chips right like um certain chips certain brands so even with that like i'm real particular i will look at the label look at the ingredients see what's in it because i feel like the same thing like it should just be pretty simple i should know what it is right um i i i, I do not like things with like the red dye but like sometimes if i'm somewhere and i'm just like having a craving i'll do it because i can't for me i'm like the way that i eat like that shit gonna come right out my system like I think it's about balance and the way that my diet is um on overall like I, I i feel like i'm perfectly fine if um i eat some shit like that I, that i normally wouldn't and then 
Because even when it comes to, like, my sweets and stuff, because I definitely have a sweet tooth. But, like, even when it comes to my sweets and stuff, like, I like fresh baked goods. Like, I love fresh baked goods. Um, I bake sometimes, like, when I want to. And then, like, my niece um, had a, a um, catering. So she would bake. And she knows me. She knows how I eat and things like that. So it was easy to be like, hey, can you bake this? Like, if I feel like it. Plus, it was her business. And I just was feeling like it was allowing her to be able to experiment and stuff. Because sometimes she'd be like, what you want? And unless I just had, like, a... A definite like I want this it would be like well, what would you feel like practicing what you want to make what you want to play around in what you want to do and I love fresh baked cookies like oh my goodness cookies aren't my thing like I used to be able to make really good peanut butter and sugar cookies and like I could do oatmeal cookies but I love a really good chocolate chip cookie and I can't do chocolate chip cookies no matter how I try it I fuck it up um and then like because I try to do like a lot of my bacon with like vegan stuff, right? Like, um, well, non dairy. And and using different types of flours, like um um maybe coconut flour or chickpea flour, different like I try I try different things because I try to make it as healthy as possible still but still like tasty for me. And then like because I love pound cake. I love different types of pound cake caramel and then i like because i love caramel i love caramel so i just make my caramel from scratch like that's what i like i i enjoy um <laughs> i enjoy creating creating like and especially when it comes to something that i'm going to ingest like yeah so um seven up pound cake and all that and at one point i was like really good and then like i had really found some stuff but my thing is that I don't, I never write down anything because most of the time I'm just like really going off of what I have in the kitchen or like going off or I'll look at a recipe, I'll pull up a recipe or something and then I'm like, oh, okay, so these are the ingredients, this is how much. And then I still like add and do my own thing. So then like when I go back, I can't even remember what I did. <laughs> so it'd be like, oh, okay. So like anytime I make something, it's like always different. The same with my food, like. I just be creating shit and I can't and I sometimes be mad because I can't go back and like make it again and then it's like always a little different but it's cool I haven't really been having much success like with my food and it's bothering me because I want to eat like I've been eating but like no like my kitchen skills have not been hitting like they hit but I still been eating it because it's mine I bought it and I'm gonna use it like period <laughs> period i'm gonna eat it um but yeah i do my own spices like I, I was starting to play around with spices and making my own spices and things like that um and then at some point i'm gonna do my own ice creams and sorbets and and stuff like that um it's fun to me and i'm still gonna have a chef because like i I enjoy doing things because I enjoy doing them. Whenever it feels like I have to do it, like whenever it feels like a chore or like a job, I don't want to do that shit. And that's the truth. So I need to have somebody that understands exactly who I am, how I operate, what I want, and that can like tag team with me because like I just feel like anything that I ingest and anything that anybody else ingests like from me it has to be made in love and patience and like happiness and things like that like I have to want to do it um granted like I don't know when I go out to eat like how something is like how that person was but if I ingest it I'm protected anyway like my body is gonna I'm gonna get how I'm supposed to get it but anywho so like I ate like like what was it like three dozen cookies over like a couple day period <laughs> like i don't know um what's this june so maybe like in in january but i knew i was gonna do a cleanse like i knew i was gonna do a fast or a cleanse i do especially like when i start when i'm eating when i'm craving like junk and shit like when i go on one of those binges Oh my goodness like i know that i'm about to do a fast because my body will tell me real quick like hey hey what you doing what you what, what, what we doing okay nope and then i know i'm gonna do like an intense like fast or cleanse which would just be like a all produce or a liquid it just depends on what i'm guided to do so that is that um
what was that so i was talking about the crystals i did the crystals i did my perfumes but i went off track for a reason like it was a reason oh well oh what i put on my body my skin um so i use just like natural butters so it's going to be shea butter cocoa butter um coconut but coconut oil avocado oil um i do not know how to pronounce this the word i always get it wrong it looks like jojo jojo but to me but i know that's wrong if somebody pronounced it for me j-o-j-o-b-a i know i butcher it every time hope hope jojoba hope i don't i don't know how to pronounce it but like even for my one of my hair products i'll buy like different types of oil and then like i would um combine them together and and use it in my hair especially when i had like before i had locks on my locks now i use like this this um this the spray that i bought in in south africa it's like a because I don't really know what to use to make sure that they stay moisturized and stuff. But they seem like they be doing good. I don't really do a lot with my locks because I don't know what to do. So besides washing and conditioning them, when I have to, like, it takes me a while because I don't want to. I don't want to. But I don't have anybody to do it right now. And I don't have the money to pay anybody. So there's that. So I take care of them the best way that I can. And I guess I'm doing good. They're growing. Hey, look at that. Um... I'm almost two years in on my lock journey, so there's that, and they look beautiful to me. So, but I I need a retwist. I haven't had my locks twisted since like I think the end of January, maybe, or the beginning of February, and we're in June. So I probably get um at this point, I guess I get it retwisted like a uh, twice a year. Well, so far it's only been once this year, but I definitely want to retwist. Um, and then, like, uh, but knowing that I can get it styled without getting it retwisted, because when I was doing my research before I started my locks, and they were saying like a lot of times how the locks thin out because people are always like retwisting them. Um, and the more you manipulate them and like re do the retwist and like all of that you're thin you're gonna thin it out because of that constant motion so like for the most part i leave my locks alone um and i like them down i mean i love when they're styled but shit, i, I think i'm cute anyway so it, it kind of be like whatever maybe cute when they style but i don't even know how to do what i want to do how i can what i can do and a lot of times not do my hair it become an bomb it'd be an accident i don't do hair no, it's not my gift. Mm -mm. I try. Like, I've tried to, like, braid and whatever. It ain't my gift, and that's fine. I don't want to. I'm really, really, really big on paying people to do stuff that they enjoy doing. Because I don't even want to do, I only want to do what I want to do. Or, like, an exchange, but, um, yeah. Yep, so uh, I don't really know what to use on my locks um, at this point. And then I did try to, like the last time I washed them, I did try to take the brush because like some of them had some lint in them or whatever, like inside. And I didn't know how to get rid of it. Like it felt like build up or something. So the last time I did it, I did take like a little brush and try to brush them to get it done. It looks like I did a good job. So, um... And some of them I had like combed out, but over the time they still, my locks are beautiful. I enjoy them. I wanted to cut them at one point because I'm like, oh, I miss my short haircut. Like I be wanting to do some versatile stuff um, with my hair sometimes. But then I look at me and I'll be like, girl, them locks is locking. Like, oh, they are flattering. So, hey, hey. And then, you know, here we go. I haven't thought about cutting them again. But just like how the oh hallie hallie and chloe just how well i don't know if they still have locks but i know that's what was said like they still have locks and like um their stylist does their their hair over their locks and like she's a motherfucking magician if she does like oh my gosh 
because like I love how they still get to be so versatile with their hair and I would probably enjoy that at some point um because I am also still me like <laughs> I enjoy having my natural hair my natural looks but like I want to play around I think I would enjoy playing around with some some different styles and be able to keep my locks um I think that would be cool but I don't know how to do it and I ain't got the money to pay for for that so uh yeah I do this <laughs> um so yeah so like i used to put oils especially like when i had my afro and before i got my locks and locks and stuff i would put a bunch of oils together and maybe like um or i would do like melt some excuse me melt some shea or do some shea like do my shea butter whoops melt my shea a little bit and add the oils and then whip it because i used to enjoy like making my own um hair stuff and my own lotions and stuff too just like get me a big thing of shea butter like a raw shea i mean or a raw coconut or a raw whatever and then just like make stuff i love it freaking love it um same thing like in the kit i i i enjoy creating like mixing things um create like it's it's fun to me. It's amazing. I do the same thing with like when I I mean I was a bartender. Well, I was a mixologist. Like I actually went to school to be a mixologist and um, bartended for shit. I don't know how many years. Over ten years. And um, always just creating drinks. Like I don't know. Let's see how this tastes. I'm gonna take this, this and they don't even always have a like I don't necessarily know what I'm doing I'll just be like let's take some of this and put it here okay I like when that flavor is together or let and then you tell me what you think like and then when I did private parties it was cool because I always just like created a special drink for them like right like okay like they would they would provide the liquor or stuff or whatever and then I would kind of be like you can have like you want two special mixed drinks or what, what you want to do and then i would just like create a drink and then the two drinks the drink specials or whatever whatever it was and then i would just like make those as well oh i almost miss no i don't i thought about going back to bartending at some point like private parties because i'm like oh that <laughs> oh that's so cute that is so i just got that i just got that but i was like that would be um so dope i just oh that's so special make my heart smile um to like when i was really struggling financially i was just like oh i can go bartend to make some money but um i'm out of that energy for real like mm -mm. bartending was fun it was fun because i think i i went to i was like did school and started bartending probably when i was like 20 was i 25 might have been 25 24 25 25 was a wild year for me like i was dating i was out dating i was having fun well i don't even say well yeah i was just doing me um because that's the year where i was dating like all the guys i was dating was like 40 thir late 30s 40s um i probably had some younger um uh, i don't really know in the, in the entertainment industry at some point, whether it was exotic dancers or a club promoter, DJ, club owner, like whatever it was, like I was just, that's what I was doing. That's where I was at. And I had a good time. I rode the train until it was time to get off. And it was, it just was them. It had nothing to do with, um, what they did like i could care less it was just them i just so happened to meet them while they were at work and so yeah that was that was that was an experience and they all kind they all knew each other like they all knew each other and i was never i was never like hiding what i was doing like Okay, that goes under the relationship video. <laughs> I'm a private person, but I ain't nobody's secret. Like, I 
if I don't share something, it's because I, I don't, I don't feel the, I don't feel the need to broadcast it. Well, whatever we have going on is what we have going on, right? Like, I don't have to post it all over social media. I don't have to. It's just like we moving in the flow. Whatever our flow is, is what it is. And if like, and I don't do drama, so especially. I'm like this piece. This one piece of hair is bothering me, and I don't even think that's it. Which one is it? It's just one piece. That's just keep pulling up. Um, what was I about to say? Mm -hmm. Whatever. No, I don't do that in a relationship video. But this video is 40 minutes long. Just take care of your bodies. <laughs>